Tomorrow on Home and Family, we are welcoming actress Ali Lieber from Hallmark Channel's Cooking with Love. And Maria is here with DIY hand warmers. If you've ever had the chance to walk the aisles of an animal shelter, you know it's a sight that is not easy to take in. The animals that you see there, they're often, they're often scared, they're cold, many of them are wet, and they certainly all are begging for love and affection. So here today is our pet rescue expert, Larissa. She has brought Eileen and Brad Smolson of Operation Blankets of Love, and we're going to talk all about that. Yeah. You're welcome, guys. Yeah, nice you. yeah. They're amazing. And, you know, I could go on and on for about 10 minutes, but I won't because it's TV to set you guys up. But here's the thing. You know, it's cold everywhere. Anytime you've turned on the TV in the morning time to watch the news, it, the headline is the cold temperatures yeah. across right. the country. And a lot of people think about keeping other people safe stay indoors stay warm you know especially if you're older or really young a lot of people forget about animals that are in shelters they don't have the ability all the time to do that and a lot of shelters are outdoors they don't right, have right. comfortable surroundings mm -hmm. and you know growing up I did a lot of donation drives myself because of course I'm you know a crazy dog lady <laughs> and so I was actually written up in my local paper about it one year which was really exciting uh, <laughs> it was really cool but so that's how I came in contact with Operation Blankets of Love years ago and they just do an amazing amazing job thank so, you thank you Eileen and Brett you were here for few years ago right. but even since then your charity has grown tremendously for the people at home who may not know your mm -hmm. story can you tell us how it all began sure Th thank you Debbie yeah. well it all started almost exactly 10 years ago today where I went to visit a local shelter they built a 20 million dollar shelter from an ugly pound so I went in in January and it happened to be rainy and I saw all the dogs were were freezing and there were no blankets so and it was a Sunday so nobody was really there in charge so by 24 hours I found the person in charge and I found out there was no budget for any bedding and that's across the country county and city shelters so I said well I can't imagine my little dog Ginger who I adopted freezing in a shelter like that so I said I have to do something and that night I thought of Operation Blankets of Love to collect Recycled, gently used blankets and towels for that shelter. Oh my yeah. God. And you, it took off. And it yeah. took off. Yeah. And then Big you went time. from shelter to shelter to shelter. Yeah. Yes. It never stopped. Yes. There's six city shelters in LA and six county. And now we do, how many do we do, Brad? Well, we do about a thousand homeless animals a month uh, <sighs> benefit from Operation oh Blankets of Love. Yeah. I think. <laughs> and, I know I'll speak on behalf of my dogs, Fred and Norbert. They're yep. both blanket inspectors. Yep. Oh, they are yeah. officially <laughs> stamped with that because they love curling up in a blanket. Mm -hmm. But you say it's more than just about warmth and comfort. Yes. What else do these blankets okay. do you mean well, by that? Okay, well, thank you for asking, Mark. Experts and studies actually show when a dog or a cat are in a shelter, they're miserable and their immune system goes down and they're shaking and they're hovering in the corner and nobody wants that dog or cat. But as soon as you put a blanket down, they snuggle in it, could be a cat or a dog, and guess what? The Aww. pictures show that's yeah, actually you know. before and after. People ask, how do I make that dog smile? A soft blanket. Their immune system gets strong, they're happier, and reminds a potential adopter of their home setting. So. We save lives because they become yeah. more adoptable. Uh, one of the things that I don't think a lot of people realize is big dogs, especially that sit on cement, get sores. They sure, get pressure sores, sores, just like yeah. a human like would. You would. Sure. Right. And a lot of times, potential adopters walk by and see that it's sores, and they make a, that makes that animal look a lot older and run down than it actually that's is. True. And they mm -hmm. overlook them, whereas that's because they've been sitting there maybe for six months. Oh, yeah. You know, so just a little a little liner blanket and a helps. pet bed makes a difference. That's yes. true. I mean, Think about it, the yeah. endorphins in the animal, oh. the same way it would yeah. be for us. Uh -huh. I mean, it, you, it all started with the blankets, but mm -hmm. you both have done so much since you started 10 years mm -hmm. ago. You now work with veterans to help the veterans get supplies and food for their animals' necessities that they may need. You, you both go to disaster sites where there are so many homeless animals that do need homes, and you help them find homes, and you also give them supplies. And just most recently, which I think is so cool, you created an interactive coloring book for kids to teach them about animals. 
Yes, well, I'm very excited. It took me three years to do this, and I have to mention Lush Incorporated. It's a cosmetic company. Yeah, we know that. Lush. Yeah. yeah, they don't test on animals. They no. gave me the starting funds. It talks about pet responsibility. How many times do you see someone with their cute dog on their lap while they're driving? Yeah. Could you imagine if, if they stopped short or, I mean, the dog would be definitely a missile or would go right yeah. or the airbag would, would sure. harm mm -hmm. the dog. I've got to remind everybody, it's yes. bilingual. Yes. So it'll go good oh. in schools mm -hmm. and in shelters. We'll be passing them out for uh, right now. folks that families that adopt uh, dogs. It's very right. important and because cats. I know at Christmas time things like everybody wants to adopt a pet, yeah. but when you have little ones, they don't understand the responsibility, right. and it's a lot. Right. It can be right. very overwhelming, if, especially mm -hmm. if you don't know what to do if you've never had a pet before. Exactly. And you know, ten years ago, um, I started going because I found out, as Larissa knows, there's hardly any humane education in schools. Mm -hmm. So if we, it's now also proven that when you teach them how to be a pet owner, that's responsible. Spay and neuter your dog, and Feed have a, and yeah. water and walk the dog. Yeah. You know, right, right. Take care of the cat properly. Exactly. Yeah. Litter, we'll other have other less things. animals ending up in the shelters. Yeah. Sure. yeah, and you'll have more ch children that have more empathy. Yes. that's right. No, that's what we want. Well, uh, There's a. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say you you didn't even like animals <laughs> when you first started this. Yes. I mean, this all yeah. just, she was never an animal person, but you oh. were yes. a teacher, and so you put the two and two together and look at what's yes. grown. Oh, it's pretty. I mean, now you love animals. Ginger will be fifteen. It's just oh, ironic. Wow. Yeah. Ginger. She's, She's my beautiful. first pet, everybody. Yeah? And she, oh, okay. Anybody who's middle aged could always change their career and do something. <laughs> if you believe in it, you can make it happen. Oh, right? Brad, you. tell so them who else we, um, beside, how oh, many okay. shelters? So, well, we had dozens of shelters, but I just want to say this last year has been incredibly busy. 4,000 pounds of supplies that we collected went to Hurricane Harvey. A Texas, 1,500 pounds went to Mexico City for the earthquake. We were up in the Sonoma fires months ago. Yep. And then the Ventura in L.A. County. We've been busy. We've been on the front lines. You do such wonderful you work. Do. We really appreciate I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the, there's a saying, uh, a pebble in a pond, you know, and right. it just creates these yeah. waves. And right. you guys have been the pebble, and Larissa is part of that pond because oh, thank thank you. You. your thank efforts you. have, have really resonated with you, and you decided to take some action. Yes, why not, right? What? Right, <laughs> yeah. right. So, yeah, you know, we here at Home and Family and Hallmark are just animal lovers. We want all, every animal to find a home. We right. say that each yeah. and every day. Right. And why not put together a donation drive of our own? So right. we all, everybody went digging through no. closets. Way. Did and Ginger, yeah. did you hear Colors, that? Huh? And I think Paige, our other wonderful yes. animal lover, on, is animal. gonna wheel yes. in. And this is from all of us here at Hallmark. Beautiful. And Thank that's you. not even all of it, just that's so you know all that she could push. Yes. yes. <laughs> There's more in the back. Yes. This is going home with Thank you. Is, you know, people don't realize, um, in the summer, people say, why do you need blankets? Larissa, tell them why they need blankets in the summer in the shelter. Well, because they're hosing them down a lot of the time to clean the shelters all the time. Oh, yeah. And so it doesn't matter the weather and the temperature. They're always getting wet, and it's just that comfort, and a lot of babies are born yeah. in the summer. And something to snuggle up to. Yeah. That's, that's what right. they need. That's what I was going to yeah. say. You sleep yeah. with a blanket or yeah. a exactly. sheet in the yeah. summer, don't you? So yeah. 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 How many yeah. sleep with their animals? Yeah. 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 Are you yeah. Exactly. Come on. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. 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 Don't need a, I don't need a blanket. Get one of Three, my cats. Friends. Warm. Three cats, a dog, and Eileen. And Eileen. <laughs> and Eileen. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you'd like more information on how to help this wonderful organization keep going or donate dog items, all you have to do is go to operationblanketsoflove.org. Next up, nutritionist Vanessa Rosetto is here. She has got a dish that's big on taste and good for your waist. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. Come back, and I'll show you how to make boring Brussels sprouts fun and delicious.